My wife says I'm a control freak. I don't know anything about that. But I do know I like control center. So, I love my iPad. I have an iPad Pro. I have... I don't know what I have. Okay. So, no. I have an iPad Pro 11 inch. I have an iPad Pro 12.9 inch. And my wife has the new iPad Pro 10.2 inch that I got her for Christmas this year. And I think the iPad is just a great tool. It's something that we can use to do a lot of different things. I mean, it's almost becoming a computer with the way that Apple has um, built the system out. But there are some things that just drive me crazy. One of them is volume control. Um, one of them is screen brightness. You know, there's a couple, there's only like three buttons on here, but I, if I want to lower the volume on a video, I will for sure hit the wrong button, always. I'll raise it instead of lower it, or lower it instead of raising it. So anyway, today I'm going to talk to you about Control Center. It's a super easy way to fix that. So let's get started. Oh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is get to Control Center. You know, sometimes you swipe down on the top and you get something like that, a notification center, or, um, you know, you swipe down like this and you get into the search function, and you don't want to do that. Um, what you want to do is get to Control Center, and the way you do that is by swiping down from the top right. Um, I happen to use this row of icons. If you've got enough applications on your iPad, you can just simply use that row of icons and just swipe down. Now, once you've got um, Control Center exposed, there's different sections to it here. Some of them you touch, some of them you can long press. For example, this is the airplane mode section, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, uh, and AirDrop, but you can just simply tap and hold and get on that, and you've turned airplane, mo airplane mode on. Also turn AirDrop on, or off, or you can set it just for contacts only or for everyone, whatever you want to do. Um, Wi-Fi, you can connect or disconnect from your Wi-Fi. If you're taking your iPad and you're visiting a friend's house, this is a great place to um, connect to the Wi-Fi. And of course, you can turn Bluetooth on and off as well. Also, you have music that you're controlling here, so you don't necessarily have to go into your music app to do it. You can just hit that and listen to some music. And you can pause it from there as well, and that's really cool. Um, I don't know if you've ever had your iPad and you're trying to look at something and you rotate it, and of course the whole screen rotates as you turn the iPad. This is swivel lock here. You can simply turn that on, or rotation lock. You can turn that on, and it will lock your iPad in place so that when you turn it, the whole screen doesn't turn. Kind of handy sometimes. Right beside that is... Um, do not disturb. So you can just tap that on and that cuts off any messaging or any kind of notifications coming in. If you have a, an Apple TV, this is really cool. You can screen mirror, and by that I mean whatever you have showing on your iPad, you can show on your Apple TV. You just simply go into screen mirroring, mirroring, choose the television set or the Apple TV that you want to broadcast to, and you can show pictures. It's a great thing uh, to be able to do when you have family and friends over and you're wanting to show pictures without having to pass your iPad around. Um, the two things I talked about at the beginning of this video, though, are what I use Control Center for the most, and that's screen brightening, which you can just simply slide up and down like a slider there, and volume of audio. So if you're listening to loud audio, you can literally turn it down and mute it that quick when someone comes in. So it's a very handy feature to do that. So again, you're listening to music, somebody comes in, you swipe it down, and the sound is off. That is so much easier than trying to find the, the um, buttons on the side and you know pressing the wrong button or whatever. I mean, I just find this to be a, a very easy way to do that. And also, I use the screen brightening at night. If I'm sitting down and I'm you know, or laying in bed and I'm looking at my iPad and it's kind of too bright. Um, I'll just use that to dim it a little bit. 
Also, you have silent mode. You can literally kill everything on it and just with a tap of a finger. Um, I don't know if you know this, but a couple of years ago, Apple introduced dark mode. So you can see what the screen looks like here, but maybe, well, maybe you don't want it to be that bright. You can hit dark mode and it turns it dark. And I use dark mode at night. I just don't like that bright light shining in my eyes before I go to sleep. It kind of, sometimes kind of keeps me awake. But that button right there turns it between bright and dark. The little pencil on top of a pad is so you can, you can long press that and you can create a new note inside of notes. So you can tap on new note, you can create a checklist, you can actually take a photograph from it or scan a document. I know sometimes um, I'll, I, I'm using Control Center on my iPhone, which is very similar to what's on the iPad, and I can scan a document that I need to keep track of, and it saves it within notes. Very, very handy. Of course, you can get to the camera, just tap on that. Of course, you can't see the camera because the iPad's laying flat on a table here, but um, that's how you get to camera. This little uh, deal right here, most people don't use, that's a magnifying glass. And you can actually take your iPad and hold it up to something, tap on that, I, that uh, magnifying glass, and it will magnify whatever is underneath uh, the camera. And it's just really, really handy if you need to look at something very, very closely. Lastly, you have voice memos. So you, if you need to just take a quick voice memo, you can just tap the record button. And now I'm recording a little short voice memo. Click done. And if you want to listen to it, record button, and now I'm recording a... See? Pretty handy. Get back there. Now, the so, you know, one other thing you can do with this, and this may, I'm not trying to blow your mind, but you can go into settings, you can go to control center, you can go to customize control, and anything else... These things are what we just went over, dark mode, notes, camera, magnifier, voice memos. You can add other things in here as well. Uh, you can add a stopwatch if you want to increase the size of the text, if you want to create an alarm um, on there, if you have some hearing issues and you want to put a hearing aid uh, button in there, you can do that. So it's all really, really customizable. Control Center is simply a great way to quickly take care of those few little tasks that you need to do almost every time you pick up your iPad. So remember, with Control Center, you can go into airplane mode, airdrop, Wi-Fi, or Bluetooth. You can take care of music, you can swivel lock, you can set it on do not disturb, you can do screen mirroring um, through Apple TV, you can set your brightness and your audio volume, you can set silent mode, light and dark mode on it, you can do notes, camera, magnifying glass and voice memos, just a whole bunch of stuff easily put together in one place. That is the power of Control Center. Hey, if you found this video helpful, be sure and hit that subscribe button and that like button. It helps the channel out. Leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have and tell me, how are you using Control Center? And I'll see you in the next video.